Hey guys, it's Jeff and today we were kind of expecting the second public beta of iOS 13 and let's just go ahead and talk about why we need this second beta so desperately and also when we might be seeing that release coming to the public. So let's go ahead and get started. This video is sponsored by CyberGhost VPN and you might be asking, what is a VPN? And instead of going into all that, let me tell you what a VPN can do for you. It can allow you access to geo-restrictive websites. It can help you get better travel rates. It can protect your web browsing. And most importantly, it can hide you from the internet so website trackers can't follow you as you browse the internet. You can find out a whole lot more of what a VPN can do for you by heading to the link in the video description below. Okay, so first off, the reason why we're kind of all eagerly awaiting the second public beta is because there is a lot of issues with the third developer beta of iOS 13 that we saw last Monday. And those issues are quite extensive. There's problems opening apps. There's a lot of random crashes throughout the entire UI. There's a lot of touch delay in response to the UI that you see on screen, uh, whether it be the uh, control center, the app switcher, even going into certain apps. And there's a lot of issues kind of uh, within third party apps that we weren't seeing when we were operating on beta two. So there's just a lot of major issues going on with beta three. Among them is also an overheating issue, which doesn't seem to be affecting performance, but does seem to be affecting battery life overall. So we're just having a lot of issues with beta three and the public betas are meant to be a little bit more stable than the developer betas. So that's why we're eagerly awaiting the second public beta. So we have to go back in the history books here to just about two weeks ago where we saw the first public beta that was released in the middle of two developer betas. So my theory because that happened was that we would be seeing public betas come about a week after developer betas as developer betas are every two weeks. So we should be seeing kind of intermittent um, releases there not so much the public betas coming on the same day as developer betas or the very next. So today was the day that we should have been expecting public beta two, but I suspect after last week's holiday, July 4th in the US here, that we might be seeing a release uh, tomorrow, which is Tuesday, or even next week, we don't know yet. But the public beta, the second public beta is set to be kind of fixing all of these issues that we found within the developer beta three of iOS 13. A lot of app developers and a lot of app testers like myself out there are saying that this is by far the most buggy software we've seen since last year's release of the first iOS 12 betas. So uh, guys, do not update to the developer betas. I do recommend that you switch over to the public betas should you want to go ahead and test out iOS 13. And yes, we should be seeing the second public beta either tomorrow or if Apple does not want to release that second public beta right away, we might be seeing the third public, uh, third developer beta being worked on and kind of seeing the fourth developer beta and the second public beta coming next Monday. So we'll just have to stay tuned for more news on that. But the fixes that we should be expecting to see within this second public beta are obviously that overheating issue, the overall general speed and performance of iOS 13, and of course some issues uh, working with third party apps and even first party apps coming from Apple. So guys, in the comment section down below, let me know if you're having any problems on the third developer beta here. I know a lot of people have experienced CarPlay not working, which is a huge deal, and maybe going to that public beta would solve that issue. If you guys are in fact uh, kind of interested in the public beta and you want to hop on uh, the public beta versus the developer beta, there will be a link in the video description below. Uh, that link takes you to beta.apple.com. That is where you can sign up with your Apple ID to the public beta and you'll get all the releases for uh, macOS, iOS and I believe tvOS as well. So you can enjoy all the latest and greatest features with those um, devices and as well kind of get a more stable build than what we're seeing in the developer beta versions. So guys, that was just a quick update on the second public beta. Hopefully we see it soon so we can correct a lot of those issues that we were seeing within the third developer here, uh, the third developer beta of iOS 13 here. Um, and hopefully 
that will be coming soon. So anyways, guys, thank you for watching this quick update video on iOS 13 public betas. If you have any comments, questions, or anything like that, please leave them in the comment section down below. Of course, if you want to stay up to date with all the latest news surrounding iOS 13, make sure to get subscribed and also hit the bell button to get updates as soon as any of that content is released. So again, thank you guys for watching and hopefully I'll be seeing you in some upcoming content. Peace.